I said, don't put on the ones, put on the cement threes, because I do have all black today. I'm wearing a black shirt and black shorts, so we will go with the Jordan threes. All right guys, what's up? Just got back from H-E-B. So, as you guys can probably tell by the video, this is a grocery haul. So today, I decided to like kind of re-up on the groceries that I feel helped me reach my best physique. Now, for a long time, well, it's funny, because last night I was looking through my videos, and I started noticing a trend. I was eating out a lot. I was eating a lot of bad foods. I wasn't really satisfied with what I was eating. Like I saw, I started eating a lot of Chick-fil-A, Whataburger, um, just a lot of bad foods like McDonald's, like come on man. I was, and I was eating that like on a consistent basis and I looked in the mirror and I was like, man, my abs aren't popping the way I want them to pop. I feel like I'm as shredded as I possibly could be. So I decided to make a change and I decided that today was gonna be the day I was gonna start eating the way I normally eat. And I went to the grocery store, I went to H-E-B, that's the grocery store that I trust, a grocery store that I can find everything I need in order to um, fuel my body the way it needs to be fueled. So, Let's get to it. Um, there's the fire alarm. I guess battery needs to be changed again. And I changed it like, I guess like a month and a half ago and it's already needed to be changed. So if you hear beeping every now and then, don't worry, it's not your fire alarm. Battery needs to be changed, it's mine. Um, I will send you a fix in later today, but that's what, see, there it goes. But that's beside the point. Let's start, um, yeah, let's start going through the groceries I picked up at HEB. So, start, staple. What you guys know before is ground turkey. Are you guys about this ground turkey life? I picked up the 93%, uh, 93 and 7. Um, you have to get the Genie, uh, the Genie O. Like anything else, I've tried other brands. They don't taste as good. The Genie O 93 and 7 is like the best tasting ground turkey there is out there. I like to use this for fried rice. I like to use this for um, turkey and eggs. I use this for a lot of stuff, man. Like ground turkey is like definitely one of my staples. I'm starting to like it more than I like chicken, so. Got the ground turkey. Um, we picked up, picked up some chicken breasts, the sliced bro chicken breast bone skin with rib meat. Um, it's extra lean. Now I've moved away recently. I've been moving away from like buying chicken breasts, a cold chicken breast that you get like kind of fresh and you have to cut it, cut it up and wash it. It just takes a lot of time for me to prepare. This is more convenient for me if I want to um, cook like a quick meal because a lot of times cooking is more about do you have time and do you have the patience in order to cook. And this helps me save a lot of time when it's time to cook. I just pop it in the microwave for like about three minutes and it's good to go. Um, I do use the chicken for chicken fried rice. Uh, there is a type of meal that I make that is like. It's like rice, chicken, black beans, and and, um, and cheese. It tastes really, really good. So, got this. Of course, the uh, egg whites. So we do use this for the um, just normal egg whites, egg whites and um, turkey. So I I go through a lot of these. So I picked up like three, three of these. I was gonna pick up five, but they only had three. So I picked up as many as I could because I do run through these like really, really fast, like super duper fast. Now we have the Chobani Greek yogurt. Now, I got this flavorless. I think this is flavorless. Flavorless, let me see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is flavorless. No, it's actually vanilla blend, Never mind. it's vanilla blend. Um, so yeah, we picked up the Chobani. Now, I've been moving away from Greek yogurt. I don't know why I haven't been eating it lately, but I remember like back a couple of months ago, I used to eat Greek, Greek yogurt for all my snacks. Like I would incorporate it with different fruits, um, put some granola and nuts inside of it, and it just tastes really good. I don't know why I stopped eating uh, Greek yogurt. So we got, uh, let me just run through the fruits real quick. We got pineapple, because I put this inside of my Greek yogurt. This is one of the fruits I use inside my Greek yogurt. I really love pineapple. It's my, it's my favorite fruit. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite fruit. Um, we got the strawberries. I put this in my oatmeal and my Greek yogurt. We also got blueberries right here. So I put this in my Greek yogurt. And once again, my, uh, my oatmeal. Now we also got the turkey bacon. Now there's a guy at the gym named Kevin, you guys don't know him, but Kevin was telling me, because I, I eat turkey bacon, but Kevin was telling me like the maple version of the, uh, of the, the uh, turkey bacon is the best. So I decided to go with it. It's my first time trying out the maple turkey bacon, but I'm pretty sure it tastes good. It's a 94 fat free um, one. Yeah, the HEB brand one too, so it should taste good. It's turkey bacon. Um, now we got my one of my staples, spinach. I love spinach. I do use this for my egg whites and my ground turkey. 
Um, you guys see it in my Snapchat. So, by the way, if you want to follow my Snapchat and see what I eat on a daily basis, um, you can follow me at Russ Wool. I basically post every single meal I eat. So, um, yeah, definitely use spinach for my breakfast foods. We have baby kale. Now, I don't know why I've seen a lot of fitness YouTubers and people on YouTube saying, like, kale is nasty. Like, I used to be king kale. Like, I used to eat kale with almost all of my meals. I just like to throw it in. It's such a, like, a good superfood. It just tastes so good. I, I mean, it doesn't, it's not like it tastes amazing, but it doesn't taste like anything for me. It's not, it's nothing for me to just throw kale in until it makes sure. Like, I used to do the same to where I get ground turkey, um, corn, kale, a lot of different things. Just throw it in, and I'd eat it. Like, I'd eat kale with my breakfast foods, too. I remember I used to eat ground turkey, kale, and uh, almonds. So, yeah, I'm going to start using kale. I know I stopped moving. I know I don't know why I moved away from it, but I'm definitely going to start incorporating kale more into my meals. <sighs> we got another staple, the Uncle Ben's Jasmine Rice. Now, I hate getting the normal rice. Jasmine Rice is the rice I roll with just because of the texture and the way it, gets, it kind of sticks together. So when I make my fried rice, it kind of gives it that, I guess, authentic, um, you know, fried rice feel like it, it just makes everything sticky like the texture means a lot for me but when you get the normal rice it's just like not as sticky and it kind of moves around all well i don't know but um yeah got the jasmine rice uncle ben money a lot of you guys say i can save money just getting the whole bag but uh, i'm so used to buying this and just popping it in the microwave for 90 seconds and having it ready to go uh, i you know, i just don't feel like switching it up so right here we have uh the sliced almonds now, I throw this into my um, oatmeal and uh, my Greek yogurt. So, like, that's that's the way I like to spice up my Greek yogurt and my almonds. Like, I just don't eat Greek yogurt. And, I mean, not uh, almonds, my Greek yogurt and oatmeal. I don't eat them straight up. I like to throw things in there and spice it up a little bit. So, almonds is definitely the way um, I like to spice some of my stuff up. What else we have here? All right, so here's another way, I like, like, like I said earlier, the vanilla almond and granola thing uh granola so like this is a good source of fiber i throw this into my greek yogurt and oatmeal i feel like i've repeated that a million times but like whenever i have a snack it's going to be greek yogurt so this is why i like to spice things up and throw um these two things in there and it tastes a little bit better uh i don't eat i like eating greek yogurt straight up but when you throw in uh we throw in fruits and uh granola and almonds it makes it taste really really good and it makes for a really good snack in my opinion now, next up we have some mixed vegetables. Now, I used to get fresh vegetables and just cook them, but I've, I've come, it's just like, whenever you're not using the vegetables, they rot pretty quickly. So whenever, I, I decided to start getting the frozen version because it's very convenient. I could just take them out of the freezer and let them sit for maybe five minutes and they're ready to use. And I don't have to use the whole thing. I can just throw it back inside the freezer and they're good to use whatever I want to pull it back out. So I get the frozen, um, frozen mixed vegetables. This is like corn, uh, carrots, peas, and green beans. So it's fantastic. I like this is what I use for my fried rice. And sometimes I do make like a ground turkey mix, and I throw in the mixed vegetables. You have to eat your vegetables. Now. I eat a lot of vegetables and I like to eat a lot of fruits. So we have the oatmeal. So we have the Quaker's Fruit and Cream Instant Oatmeal. Um, it's the one that you just put like what? Uh, what is it? A uh, two, two thirds of a cup in, or three? Yeah, one third of a cup in. My bad and um, you just put it in the microwave for like two minutes. Um, I got the fruit and cream, so the strawberry and cream, blueberries and cream, peaches and cream, and bananas and cream, two packages of uh, each of them. Oatmeal every single morning. I'm moving away from pancakes because lately, if you guys have been following me on my Snapchat, I have been eating a lot of pancakes, and it just puts me to sleep, so I'm moving back to oatmeal once again because I'm trying to get back on the diet that I feel is best for me for just like, you know, performance inside the gym and just looking the best. Now, we got the teriyaki base and glaze, the Kikkoman, I think it's called Kikkoman? Yeah, so the Kikkoman base and glaze teriyaki sauce. Um, I just, this is what I use for my fried rice. I just pour in a little bit when I'm done cooking my fried rice. So this is what I use, love it. This, I, like I have tried many different other teriyaki stuff, but this is easily the best one in my opinion. All right, so now we have, now we have the pepper jack shredded cheese. Have you guys ever checked the macros on shredded cheese? Like, I'm surprised. Like, um, one fourth of a cup is seven grams of protein. Like, that's that's pretty that's pretty weird. I that's that's some weird macros. But I don't, I just that popped like that caught my eye whenever I saw it. But I do use pepper jack, so I like to make uh, stuffed bell peppers, and I like to put um, you know the pepper jack inside uh, the bell pepper, and it gives it a cheesy feel. And I also like to throw this on top of what I said earlier. So I like to make rice. 
um, black beans and chicken. So I do throw pepper jack on top of that to add a little more spice to it. Next up, we got the, the Pam coconut oil. This is what I use whenever I'm cooking in the frying pan or the pan, so on the stove top, this is what I use, the coconut oil. Next up, we got the black beans. Like I've said already two times, I like to use the black, I really like black beans. Like when you guys see me on Chipotle, or see me getting Chipotle, I throw black beans in there. So when I'm talking, when I said earlier about, you know, the chicken, the rice, the black beans, and the cheese, this is one of the ingredients I use for the black beans. Um, it's the Bush's best black beans. <sighs> Next up, we got some peppers. Like, I haven't been showing you guys recently because I've been falling off in my cooking and stuff like that, but I do like to make stuffed bell peppers. Like, I'll throw, like, ground chicken or ground turkey inside the bell peppers and other ingredients and uh, cook it inside the oven, put some cheese on top of it, and it tastes fantastic. So I can't wait to show you guys whenever I start making this type of meals. But, um, yeah, I've been slacking. I've been slacking, man. You guys don't know. I'm, I'm, I can, I can kind of cook. I can low-key cook a little bit. Next up, we have our spices. Now... I always get a little bit confused when um, people talk about dieting doesn't taste good or something like that. Or not dieting, but just like eating a little bit healthy doesn't taste good. Um, it doesn't stimulate the taste buds. I'm just like, yo, just spice it up a little bit. I put chili powder on a lot of stuff. So um, a lot of times when I cook ground turkey, I'll just throw some chili powder on to add a little kick. Um, I have the garlic salt. These are like my staple spices, by the way. Um, yeah, so the chili powder, the garlic salt, and we have um, the paprika. So I use these in order to uh, spice up whatever I'm cooking. Like, I just throw it in there. I don't know why people will talk about you can't spice it healthy. It doesn't always have to be um, uh, salt and pepper. You could add some extra stuff like chili powder, paprika, and garlic salt to make it taste a little better. Last but not least, I did run out of protein. It's kind of funny. I ran out of, pro I ran out of protein in like, uh, like a week and a half. Um, but here we have the Dyna, the Dymatize ISO 100. This is like the protein I use every, all the time. Basically, this is my stable protein. So, um, one scoop is 25 grams of protein. Um, yeah, just keep it pretty simple. Had to pick this up, so I ran out, and I'm trying to get back on my like my nutrition grind, and uh, definitely need to start getting back on my protein. So, decided to pick some up. It is the fudge brownie flavor. So. So, I hope you guys kind of saw or were able to, uh, you know, get an idea of what it is I eat whenever I'm like dialed in, focused, and focused on my nutrition. And uh, this is what I eat, man. This is like when I'm, when I'm really like, I think you guys will see in a couple weeks, like I'll really kind of like, uh, not shred down, but I'll get a little more leaner, just a little bit more leaner. I feel like I've gained a lot of, not a lot of weight, but I just feel a little bloated. I feel bloated all the time. Like I'm walking around saying, man, I'm challenging myself and I'm telling myself, do not eat out for a week. This is all this food I just showed you guys is going to be the food I'm going to be eating for the next maybe week, week and a half. I'm not sure how long it will last me, but um, it should be a good week. But yeah, I'm tired of just like eating out and I'm not satisfied with how kind of performing inside the gym and how I look. So yeah, it is time to head on to the gym. We have uh, heavy, we have heavy squats today. We have heavy squats today, pretty moderate bench and light deadlifting. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, finally made it to the gym. Had a speed all the way here. We got a special guest, man. What's up, YouTube? Torin. What's up, Russell's Torin, YouTube? Yeah. What you, okay, so Torin's in here. He's going for a one rep max. Yeah. What, what was your last pull? My last pull, my last PR was 500. 500. This is 495. I just ripped that up. So now I'm about to go ahead and try to shoot for, I feel like I should go for 510. I don't believe in five pound PR. So I might as well. 510? Go man. Go well, I, I, didn't see, I didn't see you pull last time. We're going to see how it goes. We're yeah, we're going to see how it goes, we're man. We're going to see how it goes. Look at the tights, man. You see the tights, though? I'm trying to step Cold. my game up, bro. These, Cold. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, 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 man, that's easy. Oh, come on, man. All right, guys, so we have 485 pounds in the bar. So I have um, heavy squatting. I have a 5x3 with, yeah, 485 pounds. It's, I think it's like 85%. So it's it's a good day today, man. We got people in the gym. We got Torin over here. We got Daniel over here. We got Sholly, Mike. Everyone's just squatting today. It feels good, so get this first set out of the way. So let's get it. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. 
All right, so the first rep, I mean, the first set was pretty solid, but it's like, you know, the first, the first set's like always awkward. So we're, now we're getting the groove on, um, moving on to the second set. Now you guys notice whenever I'm squatting, whenever I'm pulling the uh, bar off the rack, I'm very slow, I'm very methodical, I'm very calculated. So I'm taking one step out, I'm taking my time. You don't have to rush it, because when you rush it, the bar starts wiggling and weight starts moving everywhere. Now you're using strength to try and even the bar out. So you want to take your time, bring the bar out, have everything even and go down with control. So. Move on to the second set. I'm probably just gonna let these clips roll and I'll come back to you guys whenever it's time to hit the last set. So, let's get it. I get that mean mode face, it's about to go down. All right, so we've reached the last set of the six by six with 265 pounds. Um, yeah, we've just been chilling and talking. We've been taking like uh, little breaks in between, but uh, we're getting it, man. Getting sweaty, nice and sweaty. It's a good workout, man. I'm enjoying it, man. I'm yeah. enjoying it. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna do it? You wanna do it? Do it? Do it over there. All right, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this hasn't been the best of uh, videos, but now, right now we're finishing off with stiff legged deadlifts. We have three sets of eight, so it's at 80% of, no, no, not, not 80%, it's 40% of the max. So that's 258 or 260 pounds. So we're just gonna put 275 pounds on the bar and uh, rip it out. So <sighs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day, but uh, we're getting it, man. The bearded one. Eight. Yep. I'm dead, man. <laughs> you killed me, bro. <laughs> I can't even get up right now. No, it was a good workout, though, man. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, no problem, man. That's love, man. Yo, tell them where they can find you, man. Instagram, YouTube. He has a YouTube channel, y'all, so. Yeah, so my YouTube channel is my name, just Torn Davis. Yeah. Go, go check out the channel if you guys like what you see. Give me a subscribe, man. And um, on Instagram, I'm Torn D. So T-O-R-R-E-N-D. That's my name on Instagram. Yeah, I'll have everything linked in the description box, y'all. Y'all need to follow this man, man. Look at the, y'all, look at this beard, man. How can you not follow this man after look at the beard? Ain't he got the fade? Come on, man. Clean, Come on, man. It? It's clean, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it was a good workout, man. I appreciate it, bro. For sure. Actually, man, yo, I got something for you. Because I know you like Chipotle, bro. No, you so didn't. I'm gonna hook you up, bro. Chill. I'll hook you up, bro. No, you didn't. I can't get take that. that. Post workout meal, bro. Bro, are you serious right <laughs> now? Get that post workout meal. I thought I'd give you a little blessing, my brother. Bro. Just for showing me a good time, man. Oh, <laughs> man. Enjoy that. <laughs> Swear. Hey. I was, I was, oh, look, because I was eating Chipotle. And I was like, I was like, yo, I know this man really on Chipotle, so I'm gonna hook him up one time since I'm here. So I went on ahead and did that. <laughs> yeah, man, yo, <laughs> yo, bro, man, I appreciate that, dog. Real yeah, tea. No problem, bro. Real I tea, appreciate man. the workout. Back from the gym. 
Um, I decided to end this video just inside my car because inside my apartment the beeping might get a little bit annoying So I'm gonna stay in here where it's nice and quiet, but um, yeah, just I had a pretty good workout with Torn man It was just nice to finally meet him. Um, I've been we've kind of been you know going back and forth on Instagram and stuff like that, but I had like this speech I wanted to give but it's I feel like this video is gonna be pretty long So I'm gonna keep it short and simple and um, like I've said this before in another video, but it's like keep your circle filled with people that are just you know people that motivate you and people that inspire you man i can't tell you how draining it is to have someone inside of your circle that brings you down and it's kind of funny because we we're having this conversation um i was with eating lunch with some friends and we were just talking about how they you know they have someone that's kind of bringing them down and giving them bad vibes i'm just like well first of all that's not a friend a friend is someone if when you come to a friend with ideas like um people inside my circle and people i talk to it's like when i come to them with an idea they start to formulate they start to like throw more ideas at me They're like hey maybe you should switch it up and do this a friend is not going to be someone that's going to tear that idea down and say like that's stupid i hate it really pisses me off when there's people out there in the world that you come to them and you have these dreams and these these ambitions and these these things that you want to do in life, they immediately shoot it down. Or they start coming up with excuses or start sounding like, oh, it's going to be tough to do that. Like, I don't know if you want to do that. It's really tough. It's like, man, get all that stuff out of here, man. That's just like, that's so whack to me. That's such a defeatist mentality. Like, that's not going to get you anywhere in life. Being real with yourself is often, is like the quickest way for failure. And it's just the quickest way to settle with mediocrity. Like, I just, I'm starting to get a little bit irritated just thinking about people that, that are so quick to just like say you can't do something or say it's it's too tough. That stuff is just so lame to me, man. And it's just nice to meet people that kind of think the, the same way you do. And it's just, it was, it was nice, man. It was nice. It was just it, my bad. It was, <laughs> I'm, I'm just starting to get irritated. Like I don't get irritated pretty. I don't get irritated easily. But whenever, you know, there's people out there that want to try to hold you down and say you can't do something like that, that's one way to really, you know, make me pretty angry. <laughs> But yeah, man, we're gonna do it for the, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, if you like the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.